Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today I'll be unboxing a NAS system from QNAP. This is the TS809 Pro model. It is their flagship product. As you can see from the front of the box, it supports eight hard drives, uh, both the three and a half inch and two and a half inch. I believe with a two and a half inch, you will need to get a adapter caddy for it. But here it is um, for any home office, small business that needs a very good NAS system that has awesome performance. This is the unit to get after some serious compa uh, comparison I made with other manufacturers like Synology and Netgear. My current NAS is a 4-bay Netgear or Ready NAS in the Plus. That sort of um, has all the storage I want but doesn't have the performance. This one will give me both. So if you put in two terabyte drive, this will give you a raw 16 terabytes of storage space. And this is a very big box, very heavy. So starting it, it's three simple step. Turn it on, select the rate configuration from the menu, and that's it. You don't even need a computer with this thing. So it's very well padded. Top, you have a little box, a little brown box on top. And that's no easy way to get the unit out. It's very, very well built. All steel construction. And very simple. Well, the box weighs a lot too. Okay. Here's the unit. And there's a brown box. So put the unit aside. Check this out. Some instruction paper booklet that's in English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Good. And more booklets on how to set up with hardware design, other models, blah blah blah. Simple power cord, so this thing has a built-in power supply. Two Ethernet cord and their Cat 5E, because these thing this thing has a two Ethernet port in the back for link aggregator and failover, low balancing and that sort of stuff. Keys for the hard drive tray. Some black screws and some silver screws. No way to the difference. I think one might be for two and a half inch drives. A CD and a quick installation guide. Again, it's in English, Chinese, and Japanese and Korean. Okay, so that's about it. The NAS. Here we go. Alrighty. Whew. I shocked myself a little bit. Here are the drive base. And on top, you have a little sticker to show you that the number 1 through 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. And open them, that's all you do. And they're also labeled here to show you that that's drive one. Yes, it's really bad. Oh, you don't need a caddy because with two and a half inch, you just mount it using these holes instead. So it does support both two and a half and three and a half inch drives. So it's a good thing that they clearly labeled because within the RAID array, if you have one drive failure, like a RAID 5, and you pull the wrong drive, you instantly create two drive failures, which will instantly kill your array. Do not, do not do that. There's buttons here. And in the back, very solid. You have two fans, four USB ports, two Ethernet port and two serial. One is reserved, one is for diagnostic, and they sealed it, so you can't open it. If you do, you'll void your warranty. And let's make 
puppy in the background. Uh, in the front, you have an LCD screen right here, and you have a select and enter button. This allows you to set up the unit without a computer. All right, so let's see what's in the box by reading what's out of the box. So this can be used as a RAID server, iSCSI target, web server, MySQL server, supports remote replication, file server, backup server, FTP server, printer server, maximum of three printers, and more. And more. This thing has a built-in 2.8 GHz Core 2 Dual, that's faster than my last computer, and it has 2 GB of DDR2 RAM. Let's see. So there's LED status for all the A drives, so you can clearly tell which drive failed. There's alarm buzzer for system warnings. Um, net weight, it's 8.1 kilograms. That's like 18 pounds just for this thing. It's a 350 watt power supply. And I believe this is VMware certified to run their virtual machines and stuff. There we go. And the I.O. meter shows that this thing will be able to do 126.22 megabytes per second read and then 111 megabyte write. That's a saturated entire, entire gigabit network, which I have set up at home. And it's just great. Um, Along with this, I also order some drives. So I'm just going to do a quick installation to show you guys how that works. Um, nothing special. Uh, I believe what you do is pop the tray out. Like so, and then install the drive. You put it on, these four holes matches, and you use the silver screws. So it's pretty solid. All you do is lift. And where's the label for hard drive one when lift and slide? And maybe it's not set all the way. Flush. And that's it. Just do that for all your drives. And they do have a key so you can lock it, so it cannot be tampered with. And they do have security slots in the back, so you can lock this at a secure location in your house. And that's it. This will allow you to store all your goodies on it. And thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this product. Um, I really took a leap of faith by ordering it, just purely on paper, because I can't find any you know, solid view data uh, on this. So if you have any questions about the performance or any question about it, uh, please post in the comment section. I will make sure to answer them uh, individually. And thanks for watching. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos as well. Thank you.